In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a small little lithium ion battery from the company Touch Hong. Maybe is how you would say that. And what this is, this is a battery that's a replacement for something, say, like a lead acid battery here. So what I have here is a 12 volt DC lead acid battery, 8 amp hour. And then this one is a 12 volt 7 amp hour. So it's technically like a replacement for this. And what I use this for mostly, what I've been using this one for is a fish finder on my kayak. But I think you could use these for a wide variety of items. So let's just kind of like go over the battery itself here. So the nominal capacity is at 89.6 watt hour. It's 12.8 volts, 3.5 amps coming out of this. Charger volt needs to be a 14.6, which you need to get a lithium ion charger to charge this. This is a lead acid, and you want to use a lead acid with that and a lithium ion charger with this one. Uh, discharge temperature, size, weight, five. Yeah, it's terminal. It's an F2 terminal, which both of them have the F2 terminal. And the charge time is about two and a half hours. IP65 waterproofing on this one. When you compare these batteries, check this out. I've got a little scale here. Let's see what this one weighs. So here's where you're going to see. I just zeroed it out here. So the lead acid one is 4 pounds, 9 ounces. How about that, everybody? Look at that. And then 1.11 ounces. Crazy. It's almost 4. And when you're picking them up, they feel that way. They are heavy. This one came in this box right here. It's got a little set of instructions to it. It just kind of has like some precautionary things on there, you know. And then it has a little set of wires. And these wires, you know what? You'll push the red one on the red. And the black one is the negative on the negative. Let me bring my fish finder over here and show you how well this thing works. I don't even think this one has a charge on it. I know this one has a charge because I charged it. So let me grab my fish finder now. Okay, everybody, the fish finder that I use the most is this Garmin Striker. You know, it's a really good fish finder, actually. It's, I highly recommend one of these. If you just have a small kayak and want to use something that doesn't take up a lot of room. And what I have been using is this battery right here for it. And we'll just kind of like, I'm not going to show it too much obviously this is the transducer i'm mounting it on a different kayak and that's why it took me a minute to kind of get this going so we'll go ahead and pull these off and these mount right up this is how this fish finder came actually just like that and check it out the battery there's the transducer the power powering on as soon as i hit the button comes right on this works extremely well with this type of fish with this type of electronics this is what i recommend actually you've got some split frequency a waypoint they're traditional basically different stuff here if you want to go down through and go traditional now obviously i can't show you know there's no water here so i can't show the transducer working but what i am showing you is how well it powers all of this this works great for about everything, you can adjust the range, the gain, the frequency, zoom, a lot of different stuff. And this kind of mounts down in a cup holder on my kayak. And then I, because it's a kayak, I recommend getting a very lightweight battery that's waterproof, kind of like one of these right here. This is what I'm using it for as a fish finder, but I think it'll work in like go-karts, maybe motorized wheelchairs and little small like crafts like that because it has enough 12 voltage and 7 amp hour. It has enough push to get it out of there, but I'm very excited to use it by the way this thing feels like a tank <laughs> just picking it up is heavy but yeah there it is everybody that's all i got on the tuchung lithium ion battery check it out see you on the next video